So welcome back to Third Rate Content. Yeah, today we're back in West Wales in Ceredigion and we are currently at Claroch Bay. We did come here last year in 2022. It was the uh, hidden beach that uh, was not, wasn't so hidden, but it, it was hidden to the public, that it was open to the public. But we're back here now, March, late March 2023. Just gonna have a quick walk around and see if anything's changed in the nearly 12 months since we were here last. So buckle up and I'll see you out here. Yeah, the sea, lucky, really fresh. It's got that, that mist kind of hanging over it, sort of mist stroke. Um, freshness, spring freshness. I don't know if it's coming up too much on the video. But there's like a, a sort of haze hanging over it. Yeah, we're just going to have climb over this barrier wall. Look at the foam still here. Wow. Looks like the tide has not long gone out. Eh? Can't quite work out where that's come from. Thinking about it, the tide looks like it went out at least an hour ago. It's one of those mysteries, really. But we'll just go and have a little look at the uh, heart of the bay pub see what's been going on there in the last 12 months or not been going on yeah the sand is very wet so the tide must go out quickly here and that foam yeah must have come directly off the sea yeah, heart of the bay still abandoned it's got the fence in but it is still open. And this rusty old gate that is deteriorated since last year because it's actually come off the hinges now. Very rusty. Yeah, I would like to see that pub open. But it must have been profitable. Don't know. Don't really live here or work around here. So I'm just speculating as I usually do. That caravan actually has the Balmoral on it. It's titled the Balmoral Caravan. I don't know if you can see it, it's quite rough now. It's not really fitting. Though it does fit in with the heart of the bay next door. Yeah, and we did say this reminded me of the uh, early in Inca work last year. So the uh, uh, Machu Picchu, the, the really old work, stonework at Machu Picchu was like the um, megalithic uh, style all joined together. And then the later work was this, where it was just stones piled on top of each other. Still good workmanship, but nothing on the earlier work. That's what I was liking in this too. Bit, uh, you know, I was sort of grasping a bit, but it does remind me of it. Yeah, you definitely need these sea walls here in winter and probably perhaps this time of year as well but yeah to just to break the massive waves that, that come racing in off the Irish Sea yeah the foam is present here on the rocks so yeah it looks like the tide has just gone out I think that's as far as we're gonna go today though not gonna make it over to the cave like we did last time the sea's too far in and the rocks are too wet and it's too cold. Yeah, we're not going to be going paddling in the sea today. Uh, it's way too cold. 25th of March today. You know, I'm not really a date person, but I did make, I just had a quick look now, uh, just so we can uh, document and log the date and see improvements. And 
And we're also going to go and have a look at the uh, what was a building site last year to see what, what improvements and what developments have been made over at the other site. Because of course, this is all Claret Bay Caravan Park here. And then over there, over the bridge is another one. I have actually forgotten its name and I believe it's changed its name uh, because it's been bought out and um, and been sort of um, redeveloped. So we'll go and have a look at that. Yeah, here's the uh, sort of plaza at Claret Bay. Got the cocktail bar, chip shop, ice cream parlour which is open um, and then the kiddies fun fair which could be open because this is the opening weekend for the summer season uh, weekend of the 24th of March so everything's being final uh, maintenance and getting ready really for the new season yeah, we're just going to walk over the bridge and see if this place is open now. Because last year when we were here, that really was, um, it was just the foundations, the foundations had been put in and um, just the superstructure had been built. But it looks like there's lights on inside, it might well be open today. So let's go investigate. Wow, keep your social distance. 2020 style. Yeah, that stream flowing very fast into the sea. But it's cold. But it's ice cold. Do you remember last? Yeah, we were paddling in there, but that was later in the year though. Sort of a month and a half later, month later. I think I did mention it on last, last year's video we did from here. Um, I visited that place about five years ago. Uh, I did stay at Cowart Bay once very nice but um that was a really nice bar and and temping bowling alley and the food served there was really good and it was popular with the locals but obviously that's gone now let's go and see what's there now shall we yeah quite a quite a structure not bad looking actually. I do like the, um, the different tones of um, the tiles they've used, the exterior tiles. Got a swimming pool through there. Very nice. Yeah, and this looks like it could possibly be a kiddies playground when it's finished. Looks like it'll be fun for him though. This pirate ship looks pretty amazing. Yeah, and there'll be some great sea views from up on this terrace. Terrace and balcony. Got all the rigging. All the rigging is stowed inside, ready for launch. Yeah, I hadn't actually noticed that before, but it's almost cut off. So the stream comes down here um, and then out to the sea. So this part of Claret Bay, it's almost like an island. Yeah, this area looks like it's just awaiting being landscaped because previously you did have all like picnic benches and um, 
you know, things you could take in and get the most out of the view here, because it is lovely. abandoned but not in use anymore there's a boy a boy yeah I, I neglected to show it on last year's video I, I just forgot but yeah there's crazy golf here I do like a round of crazy golf when I've got time. So that was the third rate update of the Hidden Beach, also known as Claret Bay in Cerbedigion, West Wales. Thanks for watching to the end. It's been another enjoyable one, just touching touching base with uh, somewhere we came last year if you enjoyed please feel free to leave a like um, if you really enjoyed subscribe or you may have already subscribed thank you if you have and don't forget to leave a comment I do love a good comment and I reply whenever I'm aware that there has been a comment made so thank you so if I don't see you soon I'll see you three times as soon third rate content signing out from Keridiki on West Wales. See you soon.